Peter Gilchrist, you came into this tournament having recently beaten the 17 times Australian national champion Matthew Bolton in Thailand, and you've just had a convincing victory over Martin, who's a good player in his own right. Looking at the schedule the months ahead, you're coming into form at exactly the right time, aren't you? Yeah, I think so. You know, I've won the last four tournaments, but uh, it was nice to get one over on Martin. Martin beat me the last twice we played. Yeah, and you he, reminded me of that earlier. Did he, yeah, <laughs> and he made a uh, he made a 400 Brit against me the last time we played. So, mm. uh, but I think I was the form player over the weekend. Uh, Martin didn't really get going. Um, so, yeah, it was it was always going to be uh, tough to stop me this weekend. Yeah, I'm full of confidence. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think in last year's World Championship, you finished runner-up in both formats. Uh, are you optimistic about claiming a seventh world title in Australia in the autumn? Um, yeah, I've got a good chance. You know, there's a few players who, who've uh, got a good chance as well. You know, you never know that there's players who, you know, if, if they go in and make a five or six hundred break, then, you know, I'll be chasing. So, um, nothing, nothing's for certain, but I'm, I'm obviously playing well, you know, yeah. and, you know, I'll, I'll take some beating, yeah. Now, you're originally from Middlesbrough, and I don't know if, like me, you've been watching a world match play darts this week, but there's a player called Glenn Durant who won the uh, BDO world title three times. He's now switched to the PDC, reached the semi-finals, and he said he, t- he was invited to show his trophy off in the Riverside Stadium in front of a stadium full of football fans. Has Middlesbrough ever done anything like that for you? Yeah, I, did in, uh, I won it in 1994, and uh, I got invited to Essen Park. Mm. Then I won it again in 2001, mm. and uh, got my, uh, th- same as uh, Glenn, you know, got my uh, trophy yeah. on the pitch. Yeah. Glenn was a good billiards player as well. He was in was the uh, Teesside Boys Billiards League. I didn't know that. And then turned to darts. Yeah. yeah. So, um, yeah, he's done really well for himself. So yeah, he's, he's had a fantastic week as well. But today was an absolute masterclass. It seems a shame to just keep it between ourselves. I think billiards deserves bigger exposure because that was quite something level with elitism in any sport, what we witnessed today, I think. Yeah, thanks. Uh, it's nice to hear. You know, um, just a pity that, like you say, we don't get as much exposure as what maybe we should do. Mm. Well, things are changing, so you never know. Uh, it might make a resurgence, and if it does, then, you know, happy days. Now, you've been a citizen of Singapore now for, what, 15 years or so. What does your day-to-day job involve there? Because you're coaching. That's primarily your role, isn't it, there? No, I, um, I was the coach, but now I'm on a scholarship. Yeah. I'm very fortunate to have the government who back me mm. uh, just to play in the tournaments, and uh, they're, they're happy with what I'm doing, you know, I'm... Uh, yeah. I'm world number one, you know, I've done okay in the world championships mm. as well. Mm. I represent Singapore in the Southeast Asia Games and that's uh, the big one this year. I've got that in uh, in December in Manila. Yeah. So that's always, um, that's that's the one where all the pressure's on really, you know, because mm. I'm, I'm competing for the country. Yeah. So it's uh, it's tough, but, you know, I've done okay. So the Singapore government are really backing you to the hilt then? Yeah, they are, mm. absolutely. OK, well, onwards and upwards from here towards the end of uh, next month, we've got the Jim Williamson Trophy, which is one of the big ones to win. Um, most of the world's best players will be there. Are you feeling optimistic? Yeah, just give me the trophy now. You know the way <laughs> I'm playing, yeah. Everything's good. So, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mod- modest as ever. But um, <laughs> it's, it's good to see billiards back in Wales in a major way. It's been away from Wales for too long, and it's been a terrific weekend here. Uh, I don't know what your track record in Wales has been in the past because there hasn't been anything for some considerable time. But have you enjoyed yourself here? I really have. I did an exhibition here uh, about, oh, I think it was about 20 years ago. A good friend of mine, Paul Collier, mm. who was a TD yeah, know, and ref, he, yeah. he, uh, he had me at the, I think it was the Newport Conservative Club. Yeah. So I was playing there and um, I remember Ma- Mark Williams was watching and uh, mm-hmm. he didn't really know what was going on at Billiards. You know, I was playing cannons, he was thinking, you know, you know is that a scoring shot? And yeah. Um, but yes, yeah, it's just nice to play. Billy is in world, like I say, and I mm. hope we can come back as well. Well, Peter, you've been absolutely terrific. Congratulations.